So boom. So in your song Tati, you say you fell in love with a thotty. Is that a true story? I feel like every nigga fell in love. What they go doing me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. In love with a Dante. Don't get her confused, nigga. She was on my body. She was shaking it like Meg, so I call her my little hot. I only got her grin, but I think her name is Tati. Okay, what's up, guys? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest, Mr. Lou Got Cash. Bing bong. Bro. <laughs> Nah, go on. Yeah. Good. So, um, so for the people that don't know, where you from? I'm from Southside Jamaica, Queens, the Bricks. I'm in mean, Southton. That's my hood. That's my trenches. Feel me? You wanna come see how my shit look? Pop out. Okay. So you still be out there? Yeah, I'm always out there. Spend the black hair in there. Yeah. I mean, not not always, but I, I pop out. Feel me? Go to the family and all that. Cause I still got a lot of family there and shit. Uh, my friends. Any artists out there you fucking with? Out in Queens? Queens? Yeah. I'm fucking with Rico Dana. I'm fucking with Trey Five. Bags. Fuck with Ross Smith. Fuck with SB. Fuck with Fame. Cocaine. Fuck with Slay Band. I'm about to say, how you feel about Queens? You feel like they're doing good in the music? Feel like it's quiet? How you feel about Queens right now? The Bronx type lit right now. Yeah, this is the problem. I think you want my honest opinion. Honest opinion. How my you feel about the opinion. Queens? Queens trying, but on some industry shit, it's nothing going on. Why do you think the industry not embracing Queens right now, though? Mm. It's just the like, records. Like, it's just how I make the right songs. So you think they're not making good tracks? I ain't say they ain't making good tracks. It's a lot of people making good music. Okay. It's just about making the right songs. What's, it's what's not going the, viral from Queens right now, and it ain't been like that in a minute. Like, so you like, think they don't know how to make a shit something go viral? No, nah, I think that it's just it just gotta happen. Like you can't feel me. It just gotta happen. And then it come down like even like like people thinking something that is not because there's a lot of shit going. Yeah, it look on. like y'all got beef out there in Queens Ooh. with each other. Who got beef with each other? Y'all. Nah, I fuck with. Oh, you do? Why people, people don't fuck with you though? They just hate. Like they ain't never seen a nigga like me and Queen before. For our generation, you get what I'm saying? Like for like the early 2000s and shit, it was like 50 and Nicki, and then it was like, who the fuck this blue hair nigga coming out here like turning up, fucking all our bitches like getting? Wow. What are you supposed to do? Performing on big stages like who this? Wow. Nigga? You think bitches play a part into why people don't like you? Sure. Really? 100%. You with your bitch and she missing another nigga. Your girlfriend, like your wifey, your everything, and she glorifying her. You're not going to like her naturally as a man. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. It sounds like a true story. There's a lot of truth to it. <laughs> a lot of niggas in the curb sitting with their bitch like, yo, they hate Luke Arcas because they bitch love me. Huh. I can't control that. Why is it? Why is that? Why you think bitches be on you? What you be doing? Oh, no. I'm just a, I'm just a vibe. You're just a vibe. So they had to hang out with you to know you a vibe, though. Nah, I feel like females could, they could see a vibe. They could feel it. Like, they could watch a fucking video or interview, anything, and be like, feel me? That's the difference between y'all and us. Like, y'all, y'all read that shit up. What's the difference between guys? How y'all know a girl's vibe? We don't care. Niggas just be trying to fuck. Cat, bro. Niggas just be trying to fuck. Niggas don't care about the vibe most of the time. Niggas be like, ah, fuck them. Let me not about to do that. You got a thousand bitches in your phone. You gonna fuck? You gonna call the bitches? That's the best vibes. You don't want to be with no cranky, naggy ass bitch. You don't want to be with no bitch that's gonna bring all her friends. That's after the fact, though. No, I'm saying well, you you, know, you can fuck any bitch in your call log, but you're gonna call the bitches that you vibe with. So don't you, do that's that. When you wanna chill and be in a good environment, but when you really ready to get this early, you call get right. Whoever, get the fuck out of here. Wow. Wow, you're one of those type of niggas. Nah, I'm not okay. one of those. I'm just letting like, you know I'm a nigga, so I'm just letting like, you know how niggas. But you, sh I just want like vibes matter, like please. No vibes do matter. That's when you want to chill them. Yeah, but what I'm saying, is, energy. niggas have times where they want to chill. Your bros ain't yeah, always a do. vibe. I have times where I want to chill. All right then, so you call time. those vibey bitches. No, nah, everyone I have chill, them. I'll be by myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm a vibe. Okay, so you vibe by yourself. I vibe those. 
Anyways, back to the music. How you got started in the music? Um, I used to like be in the iPad in the car and shit. I used to live in Georgia, so I used to get my dad truck and shit. iPad? Mm-hmm. Who you was listening to at that time? Soldier Boy. Um, <laughs> Soldier Boy was like when I was a kid, like a kid, kid. Like, so what, like 13, 12, who you was robbing to? Who you was listening to? 14, Rosie. Chief 14. Keith. I mean, okay, drill shit. Soon. So drill shit. So Aaron Scott, Rondo number nine, shit like that. Lil Wayne, Drake, a lot of that. How you feel about the drill music right now? I fuck with it. Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with it. Cause you know what? New York stuck this shit up, and I do it too. Like, <laughs> where you can't give New York niggas nothing. Like, ah, right, y'all gonna do that? We stuck the whole drill scene up right now. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's a good or bad thing? It's bad for the streets. But it's good because it's young niggas getting rich who probably never was going to ever be nothing. But what about the people that don't do drill? Like, you consider yourself doing drill? No, I don't do drill. I tap into everything musically. I know, but it's mad drill artists right now. So you think they affecting you or? No, nah, they're not affecting me. It's just work. So you can't worry about Drill's it. a phase, you feel like? Not a phase is a genre. I'm saying, but everybody's on drill now. So you think this is a phase? This can't be a phase. It should have been going on for 10 years. It's a genre. It's now. heavy in New York right now. They call people drill rappers. So that means it's a genre. It's recently, a though, I feel like we're recently drill artists are getting bigger. Playing the radio. Yeah, playing. Yeah, but look at all the niggas that started doing drill. They're not even doing drill. Chief Keef, all them niggas, they're not even on that they no more. They paved the way for them. So. They paved the way, yes, but now. That's what I said, it's a genre. You could get out of it. No, it is a genre. What I'm saying is oversaturated. I'm saying we keep. We, sure, it's oversaturated it's, now. It's, I feel like. Everybody's looking to drill right now. That's just in New York, though. Yeah, in New York. That's what I'm saying. It's other artists that don't do drill. Where they go? What do they do? <laughs> if everything plenty, is drill. There's plenty of artists in New York that don't do drill. I can name them. I know, but. And they they kind of like, they got bigger records than most of the drill music. Yeah, but it's harder to find those records. That's what I'm saying. Because there's so much drill coming out right now. But it's coming out, but what's really going platinum? I mean, Gallus went platinum. I sleep hollow, going platinum, Facebook. Going gold. gold and shit. Niggas like that. So, so yeah. yeah. Feel me? So, thing for you did numbers. Yeah. Big record. Mm-hmm. Um, How you feel about that? Like, how I feel about thing for you? Yeah. I mean, like, shit, that was. My life. Like, right forever. Yeah. yeah. So, what, what was one of those life changing moments um, with that song? Or what was something that happened? That song was going up. You're like, damn, this shit crazy. Probably when I was in the studio and like, like Nikki and shit like that. Like, that was like, like, <laughs> you say, oh, shit like that. So you was like one of the, I think one of the, probably not the only artist, but you got to meet Nikki, lock in the studio with her, right? Mm-hmm. How was that? It was cool. Did you feel pressured? You was like, damn, I, I gotta buy you this record? Like, I ain't never pressured. So I just go do what I do. Most of the time, I don't be sober anyway. So I be like, in a whole nother world. Like, I feel good. So you feel me? Because I'm a nigga, like, when I'm sober, I don't like to talk and shit like that. <laughs> I'm for real, for real. Like, two, some people got met two different me's before. They like, mm-hmm. like, that nigga ain't say a word. I might say a whole nother. Feel me? When I'm lit, I'll be like, ready to fuck with people and talk to you. So, um, so because thing for you was so big, do you ever worry that you could make a record that'll surprise that one? I know I could. I feel like you could do something once, you could redo it again. Do you like, feel like you're pressured to make another big record, or you feel like nah, when I was you're just label, enjoying it right when now? When I was on the label, I did. Like, I feel like, damn, I gotta come correct. But when I've been, since I've been independent, I've just been doing me, like, go to the studio. Cool, my shit. Okay. So, so you are independent now. Yeah. So. I've been independent for like ten months. So, so like, what was the reason why you went independent? Um, it's just about like it's just about your situation. You, know? you gotta be seeing out of hour. Everybody, you like so you're not seeing out of hour people. It's just like nothing gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So you wasn't seeing out of eye with the people on your team. I mean, my it's a media team. We was like seeing eye to eye, but it was just a lot of in the middle. It's like I talk to you, and then when I talk to you, 
you got to go talk to somebody else, and then they might not give you the answer you want. So now you come back to me with some other shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's a middleman type situation. Yeah. Like the middleman had to pass down the word and so on and so forth, kind of? Not necessarily a middleman, just a middle party. Middle party? Yeah. Third party. Third party. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Girl, y'all having a whole convo. What's happening? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so what happened with you and self? I just feel like we probably started just outgrowing each other. And y'all met how though? I we met through my manager actually first. Okay. So y'all met. It was working. He was yeah, spinning like, you all the time. I was doing all doing my, I just think, I honestly think like he just wasn't used to me turning into a grown man. And for me, from a little nigga, you meet him as a kid, and then niggas start growing up. I feel like it's friction because you like you're still trying to talk or approach a little kid. It's different now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you feel like I'm pretty sure he, got he wasn't respecting you. Yeah. I'm cool with self though. Like we cool now. We ain't really no problem. So you got to talk all your differences. Kind of yeah. So you still cool with like Dream Doll and everybody else? Yeah, I'm cool with everybody. Okay, so would you ever like lock in with like another DJ or you felt like that was a learning experience? Like what did you learn from that experience? Um, I mean now like, for me, I don't take nothing from him. He helped me get to where I'm at today. So mm -hmm. for me, it's that from there. But now I don't, I feel like right now I don't need to lock in with nobody. Good. Yeah, but what was what's one thing you learned from that whole experience though? Uh, sometimes you gotta put your pride aside and you gotta give shit to get shit too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause I can't hundred percent blame him. Like I might have did shit wrong too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. So how did your family feel about when you got into the industry? Nah, that shit crazy. <laughs> I swear to God, I got kicked out my um Dad crib. Trying to rap and be spicy? Like, I kicked out my dad crib and then like I moved back to New York because I was living in Georgia. Mm -hmm. I moved back with my mom's and she was like telling me to get a job and shit. And yeah. I really was telling them like, nah, I'm about to do this shit. They, I swear to God, bro, I'll put it up. But my family know nobody believed me, bro. Nobody believed in me. I don't care what nobody said. From the day one, I'm talking about from day one, mm -hmm. nobody believed me. So how'd you, what motivated you to keep going? I started seeing like, nah, niggas really fuck with me. Like, OG. But people always been fucking with me like before music. So it was like, for me, when I started making music, niggas was jacking me. So like, it was more so the people on the outside. Yeah, it was like, like talking to you and things like that. Yeah. So when you released your first song, like what was the first song you ever did? First song I ever did? Yeah. Shit was cool, like any way or something. So that was nothing like that. I was in high school. <laughs> that was in high school. So how do you feel like you improved as an artist from then to now? I feel like I know like, flow patterns and shit like that like I know what's a hit I know what's shitty like when I'm recording like if I record some bad shit I know like nah, that shit is whack you know what I mean I tell myself that like, cause sometimes you might like some shit but you still gotta be honest with yourself like nah that's not <laughs> it still not it you know do you mean? feel like you super hard on yourself or you feel like not you try dude. your best every time yeah, I'm super hard about what I put out okay like, I feel like I don't put out a lot of bad music like if I drop a song it's gonna be a fire track I, mean, I might record some shit that you never hear, really. <laughs> but put out? No, I don't put out bad music. So you holding on to a lot of music for sure. Yeah, not for long. No, I'm about to drop a lot. Okay, so Spin got like million plus views. Yeah, that was your I got track. Like six, seven million streams right now. Okay, so what inspired that track? You sampled the weekend. What inspired that track? Oh no, I just was in the studio. I heard the beat. Lost that power up, sent the beat. So it was really nothing like. Nothing like specific. It's just when like for me, played the beat, I did the song, I'm like, nah, that shit fire. Okay, and then you did the song with Shy K. That's going up. Yeah, I was on fucking live. I was on live doing music in the studio and he like, yo, send me this. I was like, pull up on me. Oh. And he pulled up to the studio and did the song. How you feel about that? That record? I love that song. That shit fire. Yeah. It's just cool. like that too. Would you collab with any other artists? Like who's some other artists you would collab with? Like specifically from New York or like? Mm, New York and then all over. New York artists, um, collab, 
creepy. Yeah. Fuck with Beloved New York. I really fuck with the, all the young niggas in New York. Like, I fuck with Beloved K Flops. All that. I listen to all that shit. I be in the crib and shit. You think you can do a song K Flop? Because of all this yeah, pol- I, political I shit? I don't care about the politics. That shit got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I fuck with all the young niggas in New York, for real, for real. All right, what female artist you fuck with? Any females in the city you looking at? In New York? All over, anywhere. Um, I just did a song with Swindy, Swindy Wally. Mm-hmm. Did a song with her. <laughs> um, I really ain't not, nobody was specific yet right now, but I just did a song with Swindy. Mm-hmm. Any other females you heard of that you like fuck with or just... There's mad females in the city right now. It's like Big Zen. It's fucking, um, I don't want to say nobody name wrong because I know people Instagram niggas. <laughs> so I don't even want to like. Because you an Instagram ass nigga. Not really? You be on Instagram now. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Shout out Lola Brooke too. That's my sis. Oh, yeah, Lola. Yeah, so boom. So in your song Tati, you say you fell in love with a thotty. Is that a true story? I feel like every nigga fell in love with a thot before. Shit easy. What makes a girl a thot though? She's a thot. It don't matter. She don't gotta be a hoe. She a thot. Like I fell in love with What makes a girl a thotty though? She's a every mix. You a thotty. So she just outside too much? Every mix. You don't even gotta be outside. You can kill niggas crazy. <laughs> That's outside, they're not in their crib. What do you mean? They outside, they in somebody's crib. Yes. So you feel like everybody fell in love? So what was your thotty story? My thotty story? Yeah, like, what was the I thotty? I fell in love with a thotty, thotty and like, I knew she was a thotty. <laughs> <laughs> so was thotty. it you fell in love with the pussy or you fell in love with like her? Like, what, is there a difference or? I don't know, bro. I feel like New York bitches play mind games. <laughs> Manipulation, like to make a nigga like them. But you like the hair, though. Possibly. Possibly. You say a lot of female names in your songs. Why is that? I be making names up, bro. So you don't be talking about nobody specific. Sometimes. Twenty-five percent of time, maybe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then you had preview the preview with a boogie. So when can we expect that? In the future. In the future, oh, no release date yet. Nah, not yet. Working on the project or anything this year? Well, twenty twenty two. Can't stop, won't stop. But it's done really. I did all the songs already. Mhm. I got Casco Bang with PNB Rock. I think that's my only features on there. Yeah, you got. You want to do more features or you think you good with that? I mean, yeah, I want to do features. But I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but this the um the song. The song Tati though, like what inspired that song? I don't really know the beat. I think I just like the beat. That shit was fire. So what be inspiring you? Like just the beats? Yeah, depending on like what I drink for the night. Wow. Like sometimes I might be. So you dark. can't make a song sober, is what you're saying? I could, but I don't like I don't like being in the studio sober. Okay, so you gotta I be like, like everybody smoke weed or drugs and shit. I'd be like too sober. I don't like that shit. Okay, so you gotta drink in the stew. For sure. But you gotta have something that inspires you. Like, it'd be a story. I don't know, sometimes it could something be females that... in the studio. Sometimes it could be my niggas in the studio. You know what I'm saying? So you freestyle, you don't write? I mean, sometimes I write, sometimes I freestyle. Most of the time, I'm like, it's 50 for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, when, so what, what, how do you feel? Like, the songs you work on, like pre write, you think those go further than the songs you for freestyle? Sure. So why do you freestyle if you feel like the ones written go further? I don't know. Sometimes it's just be hard to sit down there and write. <laughs> nah, I'm dead Nigga, ass. life be too nah, lit, I, I guess. Cat, it'd be hard to really sit down and just do that shit. Everybody say that shit like it's easy, but that shit is kind of hard. Mm, I feel like the pressure's on you for real. It's like school. Yo, that's what I'm in I tell them all the time. So when I sit down and write, shit feel like I'm in school. Did I always say that? Mm-hmm. It's like school. That's why it's hard to do that. Shit. Sit down and just do it. But definitely freestyling. Um. So what do you? What are some qualities you think makes a great artist? Um, flow. Flow. 
chemical balance, um, creativity. Also, not just creativity, like the the ability to be able to fucking even mimic, to copy something. I don't care what nobody say. It's not so, easy to copy something. So doing like remixes like Jack Cleese and Tori. Nah, not How that. How you do that, like covers? Not that. I'm talking about the real right when you hear a nigga, and he sound like another nigga 100%. I don't care what nobody said, that's a talent, bro. That's some shit you practice. Like, how the fuck you sound like this nigga? <laughs> feel me? That's hard, too. Like, just having vision in your records and like, good hooks, strong hooks, not just like babbling with people don't know a certain part of the song, but they know. You know what I'm saying? You want them to know the whole shit. That's what make a complete song. Okay. And what do you think, what are some good artist qualities that you have? What do you think makes you stand out? I feel like I got a good beat selection. Mm-hmm. I know how to make hooks. I know how to rap, rap. Like, I feel like I do a lot of shit. Hi, so what's like? What type of beats you be looking for? You kind of look for producers, or you just kind of like? Um, I like shit I can harmonize on. Really. Yeah. You don't want to make no like, rapidy rap songs no more. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> okay. Do you think your fan base is more so girls or boys? I think it's fifty-fifty. Mm. I like thank you a lot of girls like. Um, but my other music, like a lot of people, a lot of niggas really bump that. A lot of guys bump it. So like, um, so when shut, well, it was closed now. Quarantine is every shows and stuff was shut down. When shows was opening, like where's some places that you performed at or want to perform at? I was in Atlanta. When it was shut down. Mm-hmm. Also, shit was I outside. Was oh yeah. Yeah, I never closed down to me. I was here. I was in the A. So um, so what? So where's some places you would want to perform at? Yeah. Like legendary places, you gotta hit the stage. The garden, the garden still. I already did Bob Clay, did fucking Prudential. I did everywhere except for Madison Square Garden. I was performing. Okay. Got it. Like all that other shit is like. Now it's like everybody. Well, like Rolling Loud and like shit like yeah, that. Rolling Loud. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. You like festivals or you rather the more inside like. Nah, I like my fans. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Festivals is like just music fans. Like niggas there, they might not even be there to see you. Like they come there to see fucking Travis Scott perform at nine o'clock. <laughs> I like coming to the show and it's my fans. Like they know every song I ever made. Okay, you know so you want a more intimate crowd? Mm-hmm. Definitely. So, um, do you have like a story of like your worst performance or your nah, performance you was mad nervous? Nah, I be trying not to be nervous. <laughs> 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 nah, that had shit. I was like. Trembling like before I got on the stage and shit. So that was beginning. That was early on. Oh, um, Delaware, DSU. Was it thing for you? You spoke. No, no, that wasn't even out yet. It was make ten. It was pipe down. Oh, okay. None okay. of that shit was. Out. I was like this on fucking stuff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Walking up every one of those shit. I'm shaking like a bitch. Like. All right. So how did you get in the in the presence of stage I presence? You no, know, I ain't drink like that back in the day. But, oh, so me? the liquor helped. When I started drinking. All that shit started going out the window. Like, okay. <laughs> everything. I got a bad interview that I watched before. I was in that shit. You were smacked or just nervous? Mm, I was both. <laughs> I would have had a hangover and I was nervous. So, um, so what was what was what do you feel like was your best performance or a place that you remember? You was like, damn, they was really fuck with me or I rocked so, that stage. Nah, Buffalo State. Buffalo State. That so shit. colleges be fucking with you colleges crazy. Colleges be OD, bro. I love that shit. Okay, okay. So, of course, there's a lot of fan interaction. What was the craziest fan interaction you had so far in your career? I ain't lying, man. <laughs> I don't even. Where two, I don't even know, really, because, like, been Well, like, what's crazy. one memorable one? A little fan interaction you had? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> nah, where two, I don't even know. I swear to God, I don't no, they don't be stopping you. Like I seen That's regular though. No, I seen I seen people throw their phones on the stage. I that's seen That's regular though. That's regular. Wow. I have people throw their phones on the stage, pick them shits up, or cool, shit like that. That's regular. Yeah. I'm thinking about some crazy shit that happened. Crazy, oh, like nah, posters nah, like nah, like I love you and shit. Nah nah, craziest fan shit that happened. Um, I let my bro find like bring somebody to my crib, my old crib. And like one day I pulled up, I swear to God my life. I pulled up in the three of them in the lobby, like pressing like the cold shit to get upstairs, bro. So I'm holding my groceries, like I I walk right past him, like buzz myself in all that. I'm like, get the elevator, like, bro. I know. <laughs> 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 nah, that I swear to God, 
So they can't see your building? Yeah, that's that. Trying that's to find you? Yeah, that's why I don't be there. You don't bring people. But you do post about girls. You talk about girls in your songs. So you feel like you will ever settle down with a girl or single for a long time? Yeah, I'm gonna settle down with you. No time soon? I don't know. I feel like that's random. You think that you being single helps your music? It depends on who you with. I'm saying, so you think if you was to settle down, be in a relationship, you think it'll change your music? It depends on who you with. Hmm. If you with somebody who got something going on, yeah, that helps. If you know about who got shit going on, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, why would you be in a relationship with somebody that got nothing going on? I mean, sometimes it be like that. You be in love with somebody like that. They don't gotta be like a fucking bad boy or Instagram person. Yeah, so you, so you would love like a nine to five normal girl? Yeah, if I come across a good one. Heard you, heard you. So, while you making music, project on the way? You gonna do a project 2022? Yeah, I was trying to drop this month, but time ran out of time. Time? Tati going up right now? Yeah, and then Christmas and shit coming up. You don't care about music during these times. What's your plans for Christmas? <laughs> I'm gonna go to Georgia. Santa, go to, house hopping, what is this? I'm gonna this? go to my pop's I'm gonna go to my pop's go Okay, to family time, as he should. All right, so what should we look forward to 2022? Hottest niggas out for sure. No cap. What does that mean? I hate when people say that. What does the hottest nigga look like? Look up top streamers, top billboard heads. What's that. top streamers? It's proof is in the pudding. It's there. You can well, like a billion streams? Like what? Like what? You're going to be one of the niggas, though. Top 10 in the billboard? Top 10 go with me. I'm from the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> Take top 10. So, so I take top 100, top 20. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good, like, bucket list 2022? I just want to let my shit go gold and platinum. Gold, platinum, platinum record. Even if it's an old song, you'll be okay with that. Okay. Like, let's say, make 10 go gold right now. You be Gucci? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so, tell the people where to find you, where to find your music. Find me on Instagram at Lugar Cash. Find me on YouTube at Lugar Cash. Twitter at Lugar Cash. Yeah, yeah, that's all my social medias. Make sure you go stream on my shit. Follow me on. Subscribe to me on Apple Music, Spotify, all that. Make yeah. sure you go tune in. Good. And you can find me on Pornhub. <laughs>